We have a chance for coastal mid-Atlantic and New England snow this weekend. Record-breaking cold air is set to sink into the eastern U.S. over the next few days, and we may have a major pattern change just ahead. It's December 3rd, 2025. Let's get into the weather updates. I quickly wanted to take a look at what's going on around the country. We have some snow falling up here in the UP of Michigan and in northern Michigan, some snow falling here through Wyoming, and we have some storminess out here as well through portions of the southern Rockies. Other than that, most of the country looks pretty quiet right now. Let's take a look at what the next 10 days could look like for us across the state. We do have a potential snowstorm heading for the East Coast, so we're going to talk about that, and then we're going to look a little bit ahead. As you can see, we have this low-pressure system moving off the coast, and overnight we had some light snow moving through the upper Midwest. This is still triggering some lake effect snow up there around the Great Lakes, and we have some snow showers out here in the Rockies. Moving forward in time, as we get through the day today and into tomorrow, you're going to see we start to get some moisture being pulled off of the Gulf here. Our polar jet is quite collapsed, so this is a lot of cold air meeting up with this moisture and heading out east. Now, as we get through Thursday and into Friday, the 00Z Euro last night still thinks we're going to have some snow up here, potentially for the mid-Atlantic coast and the New England coast. I said this a couple days ago. I think I said it yesterday as well. It's going to be cold enough up here for snow. So, I, you know, someone's going to get ice. Someone's going to get mixing. But I'm still pretty confident, again, if we can get that moisture on the north end of this storm, that we're going to have snow falling in these cities 